So what happens at Megan Mela is uploaded on my YouTube channel. So hey guys, this is Sachin Soni and last weekend I visited Asia's biggest maker gathering that's Maker Mela which happened in Mumbai, India. I was allotted one stall in which I was allowed to showcase some of my projects. So in this video, I will let you know how I got selected for that event, uh, what different kind of projects were there in Maker Mela, what different kind of people I met there. In short, in this video, I will let you know what happened at Maker Mela 2020. So let's get started. It all started with one Facebook ad. I just saw one of the ad from Maker Mela on Facebook and I just registered my project and that project was a live cricket score monitoring device. So I just registered that project. Then uh, back in December 2019, that was one month before the event, I got the mail from the team saying that, hey, congratulations, you are one of the 100 maker who got selected for Maker Mela and you'll be allotting one stall for your project showcase. Then me along with the joy went to the event on January 9, 2020. So it was 7 in the morning when we reached the destination and that was Somaya Vidya Vihar. So we reached the destination and we met these two people uh, named Shivam and Babita. They are, uh, they both are from the team Maker Mela. They guided us to their bio riddle lab where we just sat near this big dinosaur. So after hanging around for some time, we moved to the hotel, take some rest and we were back to the premises in the evening where we just marked our presence and we sit in the auditorium with all the other makers out there. So inside the auditorium, there was a panel sitting in front of us and out of that panel, there were two star speakers who were invited. So one of them was Mr. Ashish Hemrajani, who is CEO and founder of Book My Show. And so how did Book My Show start? Book My Show started because of smoking and drinking. <laughs> I don't smoke. Uh, but at that time, my office was a smoking office. And at Storm's River Valley, I heard a radio commercial trying to sell rugby tickets online. And they said, you know what, if you buy tickets online, you will be able to jump the queue, you will get a discount on the merchandise, and you know what, you'll get a discount coupon for your next purchase. And I grew up in India, and some of you probably were just a thought in your parents' mind at that time, but when I used to go to the movies in India, I remember going to Sterling, Regal, and you had pigeonholes, and you had a current booking counter, an advanced booking counter, and other was Mr. Mitch Altman, who is also CEO and founder of Confield Electronics and also Maker. Okay. I, so these most of my life, I've worked as a consultant, freelance, helping small companies with their problems. And I saw them make all sorts of amazingly stupid mistakes. And I thought, well, gee, I can make my own stupid mistakes. So I made the stupid mistake of starting my own company, which was successful. <laughs> and I also, in 2007, started one of the first hacker spaces in the US, which started the whole makerspace movement. Uh, that wasn't the plan, but life is kind of strange. So uh, these two people shared the story about uh, how they landed up on what they are right now. The story was inspiring and entertaining as well. Uh, then there was other uh, peoples in the panel who just shared about what Maker Mela is, what's the vision of Maker Mela and uh, how Maker Mela is important for makers as well as uh, other startups and companies as well. So this was a session uh, happened inside that auditorium. And after that session, it was a time for the makers night. So the Maker Mila team have arranged an awesome uh, event just for the entertainment of all the makers who came for the event. Uh, so they were having singing, they were having uh, stand-ups, they were having storytelling, and they were also having one of the most interesting thing and which I love the most, and that's the beatboxing. <laughs> Okay, so after that awesome night, now it's a time for actual Maker Mela. I had my stall in which I showcased a couple of my projects that includes the live cricket scoreboard, live stock price monitor, AC dimmer, multiple appliances controlled using Alexa, and also the IoT display which was hanging at the top of the stall. So these were my projects and many people took interest in these projects. 
I explained all the people regarding the projects and regarding my YouTube channel as well. Many of them even subscribed the channel on the spot. So thank you so much for subscribing. And not only that, many of my subscribers also visited the stall and it was an amazing fan moment there. People discussed with me regarding my previous projects. They asked their doubts live and it was an amazing interaction there. So thank you so much for visiting the stall as well. And to all the subscribers who visited the stall, I just gave them this Techie SMS badge in return as promised. So after some time, the legend Mitch Altman was on the visit and luckily our stall got his attention. I explained him about all the projects which I brought with me and I also explained about all the work we do at Techie SMS and he seemed quite impressed by all of this. Now one thing which he loved the most about Techie SMS is that we are focused on sharing knowledge to others. He seems quite fascinated with this term and he just motivated me to continue doing this forever. So yeah, this was all about my stall, but there were 100 different kind of stalls already there at Maker Mela. And not only that, in parallel with the stalls, they were also having one event in which they were interacting with some YouTube celebrities. Uh, uh, some of them whom I know were uh, Ashish Chanchalali and Slaypoint. Now these were two channels whom I follow, but other than that, there were also Rikshawali, there was Ronnie Show, there was Angry Prash, and there were other YouTube celebrities as well to whom I uh, don't follow or rather don't know. Okay. Now these all things were happening in parallel, so I didn't get time to visit that YouTube celebrity talk. And as there were so many people around my stall, I didn't even get time to visit the other stalls and explore other projects as well. But no worry, there was one more day left and I just decided to visit maximum stalls as possible. So yeah, this is the next and the last day of Maker Mela where also many people visited my stall, many of my subscribers visited the stall, but this time I just managed to explore all other stalls as well. I didn't able to visit all of the stalls, but yeah, I do manage to visit some of them. So here we go. Okay, so we were having some humanoid robot that can interact with you just like humans do. Their eyeballs can move according to the person they are interacting with. Then we also have Indro 3.0 which is also a humanoid robot but this can do way more interesting stuff rather than just talking. At the stall it was having some issue but the maker suggested there is already one video about this Indro 3.0 on YouTube so you can just check it out and I personally find it quite interesting after watching the video. Then we had one gesture to text converter project for blind people to communicate in which they were converting gesture used in sign language into characters and in future they are planning to make it more advanced by converting sentences rather than just words. Then I landed up on one interesting stall who made this device for AI and IoT. It's basically their product which they will be launching in April and its size is just 5 by 5 cm like really small. It has Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, Ethernet, uh, USB. Uh, this is what I remember about that product. Then they also said that making any project in their hardware is just a matter of five lines. Yes, by writing just five lines, you are good to go for any project. Maybe it's facial detection, facial recognition. You are good to go with the five lines only. And further, they mentioned that that product is industrial compatible. That means you can just make the project and that project can also work in the industries as well. So this sounds very cool and promising. So let's just wait for April and uh, maybe I can buy one and experiment with that on our YouTube channel. So just stay tuned. Moving ahead, we were having a company that teaches how to make drones on their own to all those people who have knowledge of coding or not at all. Yes, to those kids who don't know coding, they also make drones using the block programming method. STEM education is really, really growing. Then we were having another project for blind people out there. Now at the first look, it seems like this project can tell the distance between the object and the person, but no. This project not only tells you the distance, but it has a camera built in. So it can also, uh, you know, uh, tell you with the audio feedback regarding what are the objects in front of you by using the image processing and the object detection method, okay? So this seems a step ahead to what we have seen before. Then we had a mind controlled robo which uses the mind waves to move the robo, but I didn't get chance to experiment with that. So can't say anything about the accuracy. Then we had what they call as ingenious lock system in which you can unlock the door using the smartphone application and share the password to someone who don't have the app so that they can also unlock with the keypad. Um, not that interesting. Then we were having this Bluetooth speaker called Atmo and the unique thing in it, well, I didn't find it much unique, but uh, uh, this was what the maker said. So this speaker can schedule songs and not only songs, it can also schedule some of the voices uh, that may be useful for birthday wishes or maybe announcing any notice at a particular time. And I thought Alexa can do this as well. Don't you think so? 
Then there were a nine year old kid who made a system to avoid accidents of heavy vehicles passing under the bridge. So currently we are just having the signboards about the height of the vehicle which can pass through the under bridge. But still the signboard is not at all a good option uh, for avoiding accidents that what I think. So this guy just added one ultrasonic sensor at the top of the bridge which can detect the height of the vehicle far before. Then he was adding one display, LEDs and buzzer for detecting if the height of the uh, vehicle is more than the height of the bridge. So with this the driver will get alert and he will bypass with some other road and the small vehicles can easily pass under the bridge because that ultrasonic waves won't be interfering with that you know small vehicle. So this was a quite interesting solution of this major problem which was showcased by this 9 year old guy. So it was really great to see it. Now there were stalls on many other sectors other than electronics just like automobiles where we were presented some super bikes and some of them even made their own bikes. Then we were also having some amazing sketches and paintings but I didn't explore them much. And yes the maker event can't end without having at least one stall of uh, 3D printing. So yes there was one stall regarding 3D printing and not only that the presenters make 3D printer in house and they are also planning to sell this uh, 3D printers in coming months. So. Yeah, so yeah, these were some of the stalls which I visited personally, but there were many, many other stalls, but unfortunately I didn't get time to visit every. So the third and the last day came to an end. So now the last event of Maker Mela was the pitching session as well as the alumni meetup, but I didn't attend either of the events because I was in hurry as I need to catch the train for my home. So yeah, this was my tour of Maker Mela 2020. I hope you find it interesting and I hope you got to know everything about Maker Mela by just sitting at your home or offices. Do like the video if you find it interesting and I want genuine likes and dislikes on the video because this is the very first video on this kind of content in which I not only visited that event but I just covered every aspect of the event as well. So if you really find it interesting and want me to make this kind of videos for all the events I visit, do like the video and if you didn't find it interesting and didn't got to know anything from this video then do dislike this video. So with this like dislike ratio, I will decide whether to make this kind of videos in future or not. So make sure you do that genuinely and yes do comment about the most interesting part or most interesting project of this Maker Miller 2020 and if you are one of the people who visited the Maker Miller 2020 and if you feel I missed out uh, any interesting project or interesting stall do comment about that as well in the comment section I will surely read it and it will help me and others as well so yeah ending this video here subscribe to the channel if you haven't and just uh, wait for my next video and explore learn share with me Techie SMS